Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to discuss silicone and silicone patches. We're going to talk about it for scar revision and why that works, the science behind that, but we're also going to talk about how silicone patches can work to reduce wrinkles on the neck, the decollete, does it work on the face, and if you've ever tried some of these silicone patches and it was a fail for you, I have some suggestions, some tips and tricks that I have employed to help these to work better. Actually, one of the tips, one of the accessories that I have is absolutely a game changer when it comes to these silicone patches, in particular for the neck. I was having some trouble making it work and I think I figured it out. So I'm gonna share that with you today. First of all, let's get into the science of silicone. It's been used for decades for scar revision and for scar healing. And the reason why it works, it's a very, very simple combination of silicone and oxygen typically. Some of these patches have like dimethicone in them and they have other versions of a silicone or a cone in there, but primarily it is a silicone and an oxygen put together and it forms this kind of sticky substance. It forms this sticky jelly feeling substance that can then be put over the top of a fresh scar depending on the product or it can be put on your skin to create what is called a microclimate. Now the microclimate does a couple things. Number one, it helps to block out the air. So especially during the winter, there is dry air from central heating or you know that kind of thing that is responsible for dry skin or partially responsible for dry skin. This is why I love my humidifier so much because I like to get a little bit of humidity into the air. Well, silicone patches actually just block out that air altogether. They allow for a microclimate that draws moisture from the deeper layers of your skin and then that moisture is stuck right at that patch, which also happens to be your epidermis, your skin that you see. So all of that moisture as you're wearing that patch kind of just sits there and hydrates the skin so that when you remove the patch, you see this super, super hydrated skin that is kind of plumped up. Hydration can't be underestimated. I have talked about that for years on this channel, and it's just true. Hydrated skin looks younger and looks more plump. Now, the other thing that these patches can do is that they can increase blood circulation to the skin. That helps to do lots of things. Blood coming to the skin, we've talked about this before too. Blood coming to the skin is going to bring nutrients and it's going to help with collagen production. So you get more nutrients to the skin, you get more collagen production, and you get more hydration. So it's kind of a recipe for improvement in fine lines, wrinkles, etc. The final thing that I think that these do for me that is is kind of new in society is that it helps to it helps to limit the amount that I can actually create a necklace line. So if I have a patch on my neck, I'm less likely to really look down and look at my phone. I'm more likely to keep that kind of in a position because it, it doesn't want to bend and flex like my neck. So I'm not perpetuating the whole tech neck. And that is a real thing, you guys. Think about people in their 20s now who are getting necklace lines. That that just wasn't a thing. I mean, of course, there were some people who can get necklace lines in their 20s, but really, when I was in my 20s, that just wasn't a thing. We didn't even consider our neck, unfortunately. It, it was perfect. Well, because of the way that we have changed our behaviors, now it's a thing. So if you're looking down at your phone all the time, you are creating these lines that get etched into our neck over time. Same thing for our chest. If you happen to be a side sleeper, that's how we start to get these vertical lines from curling up and sleeping on our side. So what the chest patches can do is they you know, just smooth out that surface and they just, they kind of impede that crushing of the chest that repeatedly creates those vertical lines. And then of course, it's also that microclimate that is hydrating the skin, blocking out the drier air of the environment and also inducing blood flow and collagen. So it's definitely something that 
scientifically works. It, it isn't, it actually isn't just kind of hype or speculation. I'm going to put in the description box links to some studies that just confirm it works. And doctors have been using silicone for decades for scar revision and also for scar healing right away post-op. So the reason why that works is a, a little bit more um, there's a little bit more mechanics involved and in, that is that scar tape or silicone patches on a fresh scar do more than just create this microclimate. They also help to alleviate tension, which on a fresh wound that is still able to like open up, for example, on a fresh, you know, incision, for example, if it opens up repeatedly, that wound healing process is kind of exacerbated and a solid scar can form. Whereas if the incision isn't able to kind of reopen and re-injure, it just is able to heal more kind of gently and with a lighter scar because it wasn't, it didn't think that it had to keep healing that wound over and over. So silicone tape and silicone patches and that kind of thing that's used in wound healing post-operation is more than just the microclimate climate. It is also that ability to limit tension, which is actually kind of, to me, the same thing with the neck and tech neck and all of that. You're not, you're limiting your mobility on purpose. Now that's part of the reason why wearing them overnight is great because you're not paying attention to the fact that you can't look down or that it's less comfortable to look down. The downside of wearing any of these overnight is that they start to come off. I mean, Honestly, none of these brands that I tried from CO to Bloom Body to Oya to the tapes that I got, none of them actually, the tapes are probably the best as far as adherence, but there's some downside to that as well. But none of them actually want to really stay on. You put them on and because we have this curvature of our neck, here, I'll just show you really quick. Let's see if I can not get it into my hair. Because we have this curvature to our neck, we naturally... It naturally, I'm probably gonna get hair in here, you guys. So, you know, if you, you can already see, I'm just moving around. I don't know if you can tell. It's already right here. So you can imagine, you go to bed, look, it's already coming off, right? This is the Oya one. And I really like this one very, very much. I bought all of these myself. But obviously that's not good, especially because I literally just put this on. Now you can tell it's actually pretty, pretty well uh, adhered to my skin, but the corners start to come off. And then over time, all night long, that just, it's, it's not comfortable to have something starting to come off all night long. What ends up happening, at least for me, is that middle of, it, it wakes me up all night long. Like I notice that there's something on and that it's kind of trying to come off. And so eventually, literally, I would just take them off. I, I would, three o'clock in the morning, I'm like, forget it, and I take it off. Okay, enter in another one that I was testing, and that is by Bloom Body. That's this brand. I got this one on Amazon. Again, I bought this myself. And it looks very, very similar to the Oya. The Bloom Body is here on the right. The Oya is on the left. I mean, I guess the Bloom Body has this tiny kind of curvature, but essentially they feel the same. They're the same stickiness. You can see these are reusable over and over and over. You can actually um, wash them, leave them out to dry, and then you can use them again and again. Now, some of them, like the CO, are only usable 15 times, which I do think you can get more than 15 uses out of them, and then it's it's no good anymore. That to me seems kind of, um, that's a big expense because in one package of the CO, which I do like, each one is supposed to last 15 uses. So theoretically, if you're gonna use this every night, which really, if you are 45 years old or older, or if you experience tech neck and you see those necklace lines regardless of your age, I mean, I would say this would be great prevention. So if you're in your 30s or even late 20s, this is something that you might wanna consider doing as a preventative measure. Measure, trust me, it when it sneaks up on you, you it's much better to have tried to prevent it than to try and correct it. But you know, you go through 
one package and I think they're almost $40. Now I do use my discount at skin store. I used my own discount. I put my code in. So I got 25% off, but even at that, that expense every single month seems high to me. So being able to wash and reuse them a lot longer than that is much more cost effective. Okay. So when you're doing that, what happens is the sticky starts to go away. Of course you start to, it's less and less adhering to your skin. Bloom body actually includes, and you may have seen this on Instagram because I've taken pictures with this on. They include this simple strap that is quite breathable and it has really strong, really strong Velcro but you basically can create a choker. Now I got to thinking about this and I haven't researched this, but some of you DIYers, I mean, you could honestly, if you don't want to buy Bloom Body, but you want to prolong the use of the CO that you already own, or if you happen to have Oya, or if you already own one and you've had trouble with them staying on your neck, this works for your neck, then this could be a DIY project too. I mean, it's literally, it's like a headband. It's like a kid's headband and you put it around your neck. I'll show you again. This is going to get caught in my hair, but you put it around your neck over the patch, whichever one, and it just holds it on. Now what I have found with this and with the patches, sorry for the noise, is that you really want to put it on with your, the lines kind of opened up so that you're not compressing them closed. So you want to lift your neck, put the patch on and then put the holder on over it. And what you really, really want to do is not make anything too tight. So you don't want to constrict yourself because truthfully it feels almost claustrophobic if you make any of it too tight and it's uncomfortable. It, it's one of those things that's very uncomfortable if it's too tight. If you get it right, which it just takes a little bit of time and, and a little bit of finagling as far as the tightness is concerned, completely tolerable. I am now able to sleep all night long with any of these patches and this, this is the game changer you guys for the neck. Now, unfortunately, that leaves the chest and the face without anything, at least that I have found yet, that is able to hold them in place. So for me, the face silicone patches are, they're kind of less, less desirable. I honestly can't really recommend them. And I know that a lot of people love them and I think that that's great. But for me, they won't stay on my face. And the kicker to all of this is that you're not supposed to use your skincare with CO. Oya says that you can use your skincare. You need to let it dry completely before you put your patch on and bloom body. You can for sure, because you have on your neck, you can use your neck products because you're holding it on with this holder. So for me, what I've been doing is I've been vacillating between the bloom body and the Oya primarily. And I've been using my skincare. I have been testing out the Paracone cold plasma neck cream. And I've also been testing out the dermatology neck cream. I like them both very much. You guys know I'm not a huge neck cream person, but I actually really, really do like them in combination with these patches overnight. That's not to say that you couldn't just use your regular moisturizer and then let that completely soak in, then put on your patch and then use the holder. That's the key. Now, as far as your face is concerned, you can't use any skincare and then put these patches on, on your chest. You're not supposed to use, if you use skincare, it can come off during the night. So for me, for those reasons, the face and even the decollete is sort of iffy. If you are somebody who doesn't typically use a lot of skincare on your decollete anyway, you might want to try one of these chest patches. They literally are shaped like this to fit on the center of your chest and then go down between, you know, down your chest, kind of a um, plunging neckline ish type thing. These would be great no matter what for special occasion to wear like while you're getting ready and kind of so that you have a really smooth decollete in maybe a dress or a plunging uh, neckline shirt. So all of them are really good. I mean, all of them for the neck are great. You guys, the kicker is just using a holder. 
they, they all work great. And because of using a holder, you can use your skincare. You can get that in and you get a lot longer usage out of any of them with this guy because it just, it just holds it on longer. So I hope that this was helpful. Bottom line, silicone is science backed. It works and it is very, very helpful for scar revision. So if you have scars, especially if you've had surgery or anything like that, you get some scar tape in or even things like Mederma or there is um, Scar Away. Those are just gels that are silicone and they work great also. Be sure to check my blog. There is a corresponding blog post to this video that will rank all of the patches that I have tested, including the different silicone tapes that I've tested as well. I will give you a review. I'll give you the breakdown of each of these products if you are interested in kind of comparing and contrasting them and deciding for yourself which ones are the best or right for you. Spoiler alert, the most expensive one isn't my favorite. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.